Music fam, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm Victor, your music mentor. And everything that you're going to be hearing in the next few minutes is from our book, Are You Serious? It's a next step guide for the Christian recording artist. And if you like the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let's have a real conversation about something that's so important for gospel artists. Blending worship and entertainment and live performances. I know this can feel like walking a tightrope. And you want your audience to have a great time, but at the same time, your heart is to lead them into a worshipful experience. So how do you find that balance? First off, let's talk about purpose. When you're on stage, you're not just performing, you're creating an environment where people can encounter something greater than themselves. But here's the thing, worship doesn't have to be solemn all the time. Worship can be full of joy, celebration, and energy. So as you're planning your performance, Think about how to invite people into that experience and not just entertain them. One way to do this is by being intentional with your set list. Start with something upbeat, something that gets the energy in the room going. Then as the set progresses, gradually shift into songs that encourage reflection and connection. This creates a journey for your audience, starting with excitement and then leading them into a deeper worshipful moment. It's like setting the stage for them to engage with the message of the music. Another key is to mix things up. Play with the tempo and style of your songs to keep the audience engaged. A high energy song followed by a quiet, reflective piece can create a powerful contrast that pulls people in emotionally. Like when you bring the audience different ways to connect, whether it's through joy, gratitude, or introspection, you're making space for worship to happen naturally. And here's a big one. Engage your audience. Don't just sing to them. Invite them to sing with you. Encourage clapping, singing along, or even moments of silence for reflection. Worship is about community, right? So when you bring people into the experience, it stops being a one-way performance and, and begins something you're all sharing together. Look, your stage presence matters too. For upbeat songs, don't be afraid to move around, clap, and bring the joy. But for quieter moments, pull it back. Maybe close your eyes, lift your hands, or just let the stillness speak. Those shifts in your body language signal to the audience that something deeper is happening. It's amazing how much a small movement can communicate. Let's quickly touch on visuals for a moment. Lighting, for example, you don't need a huge production to make an impact. Bright, colorful lights work great for celebratory songs, while dim, warm tones can create a peaceful atmosphere for worshipful moments. Even simple visuals like a soft background glow or nature-inspired imagery can help set the tone and draw people in. And here's something I always reminded myself to stay grounded in prayer. Before you even step on the stage, take a moment to center yourself and remember why you're there. Ask for guidance and let go of the idea that it's all on you. When you're anchored to the purpose, everything you do on stage will flow from a place of authenticity. So to wrap up, blending worship and entertainment is about being intentional. From your set list to your stage presence to your visuals, every choice you make should lead people into a space where they can feel the joy, energy, and depth of worship. Let your music invite them into that journey and the entertainment side will naturally flow. So if you've got some ideas or ways to balance worship and entertainment, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe for more conversations like this. Until next time, keep inspiring, keep singing, and keep leading people into worship. God bless.